I'm celebrity chef Mariko, and today I'm going to show you how to make feta and spinach cheese dip. I absolutely love spinach dip, but what makes it even better is the addition of some really good feta. To get started, I'm going to get a mixing bowl, and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Normally, spinach dip has a lot of fat and calories in it, but this spinach dip uses a non-fat yogurt, so it's got a lot of flavor and creaminess, and it doesn't have any of the fat, so you can eat the whole entire thing by yourself. So I have my quarter cup of Greek yogurt, and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of spinach. This is frozen spinach that I have thawed, and I drained out all of the liquid, okay. Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of grated mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of crumbled feta cheese. I absolutely love using feta cheese in the spinach dip recipe because it gives it a real nice tang and a bite. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of spice. This is an all-purpose seasoning blend that has some dried parsley and rosemary, maybe some dried oregano. There's even some little bits of lavender in there. Purple and pretty. Then a little bit of pepper, a lot of pepper, and maybe a little bit of salt. And now it is ready to mix together until everything is well combined. I really, really love spinach dip, and this is a great recipe because you can either serve it hot or cold. So for cold, when it's all combined and ready to go, it's ready to serve. If you wanted a hot, bubbly spinach dip, just put it in an oven-safe dish and bake it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now that everything is mixed together well, I'm just gonna put it in my cute little serving dish and it is ready to serve with your favorite bread, crackers, or chips. This is Mariko showing you how to make a feta and spinach cheese dip. Enjoy.